My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Way of the Cross. Today we in a special way dedicate and pray this Way of the Cross for all our children and the youth who are appearing for their exams. We pray that the Lord will bless them with His wisdom and help them all that they have studied may be able to do well in their exams. We pray for this intention during this Way of the Cross. Introduction O Jesus, my adorable Saviour, behold me here prostrate, imploring your mercy for myself and for all the souls of the faithful departed. Apply to us the infinity of your passion on which we are now about to meditate. Grant that while we trace this path of sighs and tears, our heart may be so touched with contrition and repentance that we may be ready to embrace with joy all the sufferings and humiliations of this life. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. He was like a lamb that is led to the slaughter the Good Shepherd is the one who lays down his life for his sheep. No one takes it from me. I lay it down on my own free will. We, we adore, adore you, o Christ, and, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Leaving the house of Cephas, where he had been blasphemed, and the house of Herod, where he had been mocked. Jesus is dragged before Pilate, his back torn with scourges, his head crowned with thorns, and he, who on the last day will judge the living and the dead, is himself condemned to a disgraceful death. It was for my sins that you did suffer, O blessed Jesus. You chose to die, that I may have eternal life. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. The second station, Jesus receives the cross. There is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. We, we adore, adore you, O Christ, Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A heavy cross is laid upon the bruised soldiers of Jesus. He receives it with meekness, with a secret joy, for it is the instrument with which he is to redeem the world. O Jesus, grant me by the virtue of your cross to embrace with meekness and cheerful submission the difficulties of my state and to be ever ready to take up my cross and follow you. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. The third station. Jesus falls the first time under the weight of the cross. Remember how generous the Lord Jesus was. He was rich, but he became poor for our sake, to make us rich out of his poverty. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Laboring under the weight of the cross, Jesus slowly sets forth on the way to Calvary. Amidst the mockeries and insults of the crowd, his agony in the garden has exhausted his body. He is sore at blows and wounds. His strength fails him. He falls to the ground under the cross. O oh Jesus, because of our sins, you fell under the burden of the cross. May the thought of your sufferings save us from grievous fall into sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. The Fourth Station Jesus is met by His Blessed Mother And woman a sword will pierce your own soul too. I must be busy with my father's affairs. We, we adore, adore you, o Christ, Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed the world. world. Still burdened with the cross and wounded yet more by his fall, Jesus proceeds on his way. He is met by his mother. What a meeting it must have been! What a sword of anguish must have pierced that mother's heart! O oh, Jesus! By the compassion which you felt for your mother, have compassion on me and give me a share in her intercession. O Jesus, O Mary, bathe my sinful soul in a sea of true sorrow for my past offenses. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Fifth Station The cross is laid upon Simon of Cyrene. It makes us happy to suffer for you, as we are suffering now, and in our own body, to do what we can to make up all that he has still to be undergone by Christ for the sake of his body, the church. We adore, we adore you, you Christ, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As the strength of Jesus fails, and he is unable to proceed. The executioners seize and compel Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross. O oh Jesus, may it be a privilege also to bear your cross. May we never shrink from suffering. May we rather rejoice if we be counted worthy to suffer for your name's sake. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. The sixth station. The face of Jesus is wiped by Veronica. See, my servant will prosper. He shall be lifted up 
exalted, rise to great heights. But because of sin, he is now without beauty, without majesty, a thing despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As Jesus proceeds on the way, covered with the sweat of death, a woman moved with compassion makes her way through the crowd and wipes his face with a handkerchief as a reward for her piety the impression of his sacred countenance is miraculously imprinted upon the handkerchief o jesus may the contemplation of your sufferings help me to make a new start in life. Grant that all my sins may be erased from my soul and your divine image may be stamped upon it forever. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. You should be awake and praying, not to be put to the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The pain of his wounds and the loss of his blood, increasing at every step of his way, again his strength fails him, and Jesus falls to the ground a second time. O Jesus, falling again under the burden of our sins, how often we have grieved you. May we rather die than ever offend you again. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. The Eighth Station The women of Jerusalem mourn for the Lord. It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the person who does the will of my Father. We, we adore, adore you, o Christ, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. At the sight of the sufferings of Jesus, some holy women in the crowd are so touched with sympathy that they openly bewail and lament him. Jesus turned to them and says, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, weep rather for yourselves and for your children. O Lord Jesus, teach me to mourn for you and for myself, for your sufferings and my sins, which cause them that I may escape the judgment prepared for all who reject you in this life. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, 
Rest in peace. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time under the cross. My soul is sorrowful to the point of death. My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass me by. Nevertheless, let it be as you, not I, would have it. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has now arrived almost to the summit of Calvary. But before he reaches the spot where he is to be crucified, his strength fails him and he falls for the third time to be dragged up and goaded onward by the brutal soldiery. O Lord Jesus, by the merits of your third fall, make us understand the true meaning of your passion. Pardon our never-ending relapses into sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. You have stripped off your old behavior with your old self and you have put on a new self renewed in the image of his creator. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Arrived at last at the place of sacrifice, they prepared to crucify him. His garments are torn from his bleeding body, and he, the Holy One of Holies, stands exposed to the vulgar gaze of the rude and scoffing multitude. O Lord Jesus, you endured this shame for my shameful sins. Strip me of my conceit, my pride, my self-love and immodesty. Help me to know all my sins and to confess them with sorrow and humility. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, Rest in peace. Eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. When I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all men to myself. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The cross is laid upon the ground, and Jesus is stretched upon his bed of death. At one and same time, he offers his bruised limbs to his heavenly Father on behalf of sinful men and to his fierce executioners to be nailed to the disgraceful wood. The blows are struck and the blood gushes forth. O Jesus, nailed to the cross, fasten our heart there also. Help us to esteem and practice Christian mortification that we may love only you and renounce the world, the flesh and the devil. 
Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies Upon the Cross A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For three hours Jesus hangs upon the transfixed hands. His blood runs in streams down his body and bedews the ground. And in the midst of excruciating sufferings, he has pardoned his murderers, promised the bliss of paradise to the penitent thief, and committed his blessed mother and beloved disciple to each other's care. All is now consummated, and meekly bowing his head, he dies. O Jesus, I devoutly venerate the honoured cross upon which you loved me unto death. In that death I place all my confidence. Jesus, for you I live. Jesus, for you I die. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Thirteenth station, Jesus is laid in the arms of his mother. One of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance. His mother stored up all these things in her heart. We, we adore, adore you, you Christ, Christ, and, and we, we bless you. you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The multitude have left the heights of Calvary, and none remain save the beloved disciple and the holy women who at the foot of the cross are striving to stem the grief of Christ's inconsolable mother. Later, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus take the body of a divine son from the cross and deposit it in her arms. O Mary, mother of Jesus, whose grief was boundless, give us a share in your sorrows over the sufferings of your Son. Accept us as you accepted John as your child. Show yourself a mother to us, now and at the hour of our death. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the sepulcher. Unless the wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. When we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The body 
of her dearly beloved son is taken from his mother and laid in the tomb. The tomb is closed and the lifeless body remains until the hour of his glorious resurrection. I too, O God, will descend into the grave whenever it shall please you, where it shall please you. Grant that, dying to myself, now I may rise gloriously with you on the last day. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Concluding Prayer Father, we have meditated on the journey of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to Calvary. His suffering and death, may it transform our lives. Make us persons who readily forgive. Enable us to spend ourselves in serving you and our fellow men and women, and thus share in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank you for participating in this way of the cross. We ask our Lord and pray for your intentions during these days, especially during the way of the cross. We humbly request you to participate in the way of the cross and pray for each other. May God bless you today and always with peace and joy. Thank you.